French nun who studied recently at Boston College has just become the first woman appointed as undersecretary to the Synod of Bishops at the Vatican. Pope Francis chose Sister Natalie Becar for the position on the advisory council to the Pope. This means that Sister Becar will have voting rights in the Synod. I spoke with Sister Margaret Guider of the Boston College School of Theology and Ministry about why this appointment is so meaningful and historic. Sister Guider, thanks so much for taking the time to explain a lot of this to us. Why is this so historic? Well, one of the reasons why this is so historic is uh, Sister Natalie Beckhart is the first woman uh, to be appointed uh, as undersecretary to uh, the Synod of Bishops. She just completed her studies at Boston College at the School of Theology and Ministry, is that correct? Well, actually, uh, Sister Natalie has a, a quite an impressive um, uh, background. Uh, she holds degrees in management, philosophy and theology, sociology. Yes, she recently completed a licentiate in sacred theology at uh, the uh, School of Theology and Ministry at Boston College after she had done uh, a year sabbatical at Catholic Theological Union in Chicago. Mm. So her focus in her thesis was on synodality. But she's worked in Lebanon She's been a marketing consultant with NGOs. Uh, I think one of the most important things is uh, as a, a Severian uh, missionary of Jesus Christ, her charism is that of Ignatian spirituality. So in France, she was very active with the Ignatian Youth Network, um, scouting, working with the poor, the National Service of Evangelization, uh, with the French Episcopal Conference. Mm -hmm. And in 2018, she was part of the preparatory team for the Synod on Youth, and she also served as an auditor for that. Mm. So she is a very accomplished woman with a wide-ranging resume. Uh, she has voting rights within the Synod of Bishops, and is this yes. a really historic aspect yeah. of this appointment as well? Yes, this is one of the most important points probably that she will have the right to vote and the recently appointed secretary general uh, Cardinal Mario Grec you know, a bishop from Malta mm -hmm. um, he has been very um, emphatic on this point that the the power um, to be part of of the deliberations and the discernment, and then to have a vote. Um, this opens the possibility for other women now to be appointed uh, to similar positions, because in the organization of the Vatican, there are places where it is not required that one be ordained in order to exercise um, this power of discernment, deliberation, and voting authority. So this really is a breakthrough. Mm. And Pope Francis has consistently highlighted the importance of women in the church. Do you see this as a really significant moment? Yes, I think this is one of the concrete manifestations of his um, urgency um, that he has given to wanting to include uh, not only more women, but also uh, more lay people and religious generally, because one of his commitments is to bring to life um, within the organizational structures of the church the importance of charisms or gifts of the spirit. For me, the excitement of this is uh, to have known Natalie personally, although not that well, um, but to have a connection uh, with the Synod of Bishops that really um, speaks to young people, speaks to women in the church, and I think it also speaks to laity in general, as well as to priests and to members of the hierarchy, that we are moving in a direction of more inclusivity 
and uh, more participation. Mm. And can I ask you just technically, uh, was she physically here in Chestnut Hill? Did she take the degree yes. online? How long was she yes. here? She was physically here. Um, she actually came uh, before COVID and uh, spent the past year mm -hmm. with us uh -huh. and uh, graduated in December. So it was uh, really uh, a pleasure to have her with us for uh, in, in person and in contact. Unfortunately, that was cut short in mm. March in terms of actual engagement. Sure. But as I understand it, uh, Natalie was, Sister Natalie was pr present in the classes where, uh, in seminars where students were actually able to be present. So uh, the STM had a great advantage to have her in our presence. That